This is Essie Featured. This is the power of sports. thousand miles from Augusta National, 4,500 miles from St. Andrews, there's a different kind of golf course, Royal Nepal Golf Club. Where this maintenance shed behind the third green is home to one girl's dream. On this day, right outside her door, she will try to do something no woman in the history of her nation has ever done. I know it's very difficult, but it is not impossible. One day I will make my country proud. Home to Everest, Nepal is a land veiled in dreams of climbing and rising. But really, few here ever do. In Kathmandu, the capital, nearly a quarter of the city's 1.3 million residents exist below the poverty line. Royal Nepal Golf Club sits amid that squalor. It's unlike any course in America. Monkeys roam the fairways and greens. Hindu holy men look on at its players through barbed wire fencing. It is home to the elite who belong here. and the staff who work here. In 1995, Kalpana Sering and Pasang Sherpa were both laborers at Royal Nepal. I was born in the village of Nepal. I was born in the village of Nepal. Pasang and Kalpana married in 1996. Three years later, both in their 40s, Kalpana gave birth to a daughter, Pratima. With a combined salary of 2,000 rupees, just $19 a month, 
the family moved into this maintenance shed behind the third green when Pratima was five. That's actually the storeroom for Ranipal Golf Club to keep their vehicles and other instruments. But they haven't given that so that all those things that we own are safe. The family's portion of the shed is a single subdivided room. Its living space, perhaps 200 square feet. Our home is a very small. We have two beds and one, day, one bed is for me and one bed is for my mom and dad. There's a kitchen in the same room. bathroom is behind our set. The rich people, they can understand our life. The street is my lucky house because if I don't live there, I cannot play golf. That's why I feel lucky. For a girl living in a shed behind the third green, the course became her playground. I used to see uh, many players playing golf. I was very interested, but we did not have that equipment to hit a ball. Though Pratima's father had never played a round of golf in his life, he had an idea. <laughs> Members of the club saw Pratima playing with a wooden stick when she was 11. They gave her a bag of mixed clubs, and with them, a sound began to echo across the course, one that would become synonymous with Pratima's life. I have a third of your Kelly Kam Nagar, Abu Ponuber, your Kam Nagar, your Kelly take them to Tulum and take them, put up Pesha Bagam and Salamate. God, you say. Despite her father's wishes, Pratima kept playing virtually every day. Three months after receiving her club, she entered her first tournament against 30 competitors. She won. I was really, really happy that moment. It was like a dream. By the time she was 17, playing with a mixed bag of clubs, Pratima had won 33 tournaments, including two junior international events. And the Pratima, 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 the P
Ah, trophy rupee le diya le hunsa. Ani kora hunsa. With a score of thirty points, trophy ma Sherpa. When I'm alone in my home, I see the trophies and I feel my accomplishment, and I make a plan for the future. For Pratima, her family's future lies in her hands. Her goal is simple and daunting. To become professional, to earn enough money to leave the shed, find a home, and create a different life. My mom and dad are getting older day by day. And my responsibility is to take care of them. To support her parents and to reach her goal, Pratima prepared to play in the Nepal Professional Qualifying Tournament, known as Q School. No woman in her country has ever played in the event. With Nepal Professional Golfers Association, we have 63 registered professionals so far. We don't have any female professionals as yet. For what Pratima aspires, it's almost impossible. The courage that she has got to go into that male-dominated, elitist kind of sport, it's remarkable. By the spring of 2016, Pratima's preparations had reached their limits. Playing with the same clubs on the same two courses every day. Until she had a chance meeting with an American writer who was visiting Nepal. Oliver Horovitz, who also caddied at St. Andrews in Scotland, was taken by her talent immediately. She tees off from the first, I pick up the bag, we go. And instantly I'm like, she's got game. Her swing is awesome. And people are stopping as she's putting out. There was this moment where I'm just thinking, in Nepal, it's a pretty big deal for a lady to be playing golf. This is important what she's doing. Horovitz started a fundraising campaign to help Pratima. Three months later, the Montano family from Ventura, California responded with an offer. Come to America for two months of golf instruction. In July 2017, she left her country and her parents for the first time in her life. Thank <laughs> you. I'm from Nepal and I live in the state of the Ru Nepal Golf Course. I'm in the USA now because of golf. That's why I feel very lucky. In America, there are lots of rooms. 
and the bathroom is very big. <laughs> Thank you. With her host parents, Mike and Tanya, and their daughter, Sophia, over the next six weeks, Proctima tasted ice cream for the first time. <laughs> saw the ocean. And learned how to ride a bicycle. Does it still feel too high, honey? Sit on the seat. Okay, okay. <laughs> Keep pedaling, pedal. You're going to it! You're doing it! You're doing it! <laughs> of course, she played golf every day. As long as that right elbow stays low, you can't hit the pole left. With an American instructor against American competition. So what's golf like? Like golf? It's totally different. Preparing for the upcoming professional qualifying tournament back in Nepal, Pratima played in five junior tournaments in America. She won one of the events and tied for third in another. She beats women that are going to college next year to play D1 college golf. At Q School, I think she's got a really good shot. On the golf course since you've been here, how how did you do? Yeah, yeah. Did you of course, do okay? I won the tournament. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah. At the end of the trip, Pratima said goodbye to her new friends and family. Ah, oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. The Montano family always jumps in without ever thinking about anything. <laughs> and we jumped in, and there was a beautiful girl that we instantly loved. And you always have a home, honey, and we love you. So cheers to the future of Pratima. Seven thousand eight hundred fifty miles later, Pratima was back home, carrying a new perspective, but the same dream. On the biggest day of her life, the stage lies right outside Pratima Sherpa's door. 17 years old, Pratima is the only woman against 21 men. The top five players earn professional status. She has played with females, she has played with club golfers, but this time they are going to be the serious guys who want to become pro and who want to earn money. She might feel the pressure. Golf is my passion. And golf is my best friend. So I cannot lose. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome all our aspiring professionals. Uh, we will be taking only five players. And best of luck, enjoy the tournament, and enjoy the competition. Thank you very much. Hey, good luck, guys. Good shot, Fatima. Good shot, Fatima. 
Pastola. Ne pastola. Good shot. I'm ball out. I've already got the ball. Good move. Competing from the men's tees, her driving distance is clear to see. But as the round unfolds, Hatima's trip to America has an unintended consequence. Uh, After putting on pristine surfaces all summer, she suddenly struggles on Royal Nepal's wet, slow, and uneven greens. What are you saying? What do you mean? Day one, Hatima shoots 79, her worst score at Royal Nepal in more than six months. In 10th place, she's already in danger of falling from contention. Needing to gain ground on the leaders, Pratima begins to press. Hatima grinds to finish the day in ninth place, better than day one, but still four places out of the final qualifying spot. Ultimately, Pratima finishes in ninth place, four places away from changing her family's life, four spots from making history. I would like to recognize and admire the efforts made by our only lady participant of the tournament, Pratima. On the course outside her shed door, in the biggest tournament of her young life, Pratima Sherpa failed. But two hours after the tournament ends, there's a familiar sound across the course. She is here, swinging. Dreaming. Because in the land of Everest, of climbing and rising, there is no other way. <laughs> 